Hi everybody, I'm Daniel McCartan, back at Yankee Stadium at a Mint Pros event with Joe Pagliano. And here to my right is Ron Bloodenberg, the first DH in the entire MLB in history. But before we get to that, I'd really like to talk about Joe and his events here. You had a lot of them. What does it mean for you to be back every time? Joe's the best. Uh, you know, I've been doing this for the last, what, six or seven years with Joe. And uh, number one is just, he's fun. He's a fun guy. And the good part about it is we're a lot taller than he is, so uh, he has to look up to us all the time. So, you know, but Joe, is, he, he runs a great event. Uh, people love him. He's a very honest person. He's a very uh, charismatic person, and he's always great to the fans. And the best part about him is he's, he's a good part of baseball. Now, last time we talked, we talked about you being the first DH. Uh, just to summarize that real quick for the people that didn't get to see that video, you know, it hasn't been around all the time. You know, for baseball, it hasn't been around all the time. So he was the first guy who started it. And I just wanted to know, like, how did the idea originally come out to, to have you as a DH and take a pitcher out of a lineup? Well, in 1973, uh, the game of baseball, uh, the American League wanted a lot more offense in the game of baseball. And... Uh, they uh, announced the DH. Uh, I thought it was, and nobody ever knew what it was, but of course it was the first time that, you know, it, it was uh, uh, put in the game of baseball, and nobody ever thought it was going to be, uh, it's 45 years, it's almost 45 years it's been in the game of baseball now, and, and eventually the National League will uh, adopt it, and, and I screwed up the game of baseball, I'm very proud of it, and, but it's, it's great because nobody's ever going to forget me being the first DH in the name of the game of uh, baseball. Awesome story, but you know, when it first started, were people thinking it was like an unfair competitive advantage? You know, the opponents were like, what the heck's up with this? No, nah, nobody knew anything about it. It was a, it basically, it was a glorified pinch hitter. Yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, the funny part about it, a lot of pitchers at that particular time were some good hitters. But uh, uh, I hit for Mel Stoudemire, who Mel Stoudemire was one of the best hitting pitchers in the game of baseball in 73. And, and, but he was always upset because uh, uh, I took his uh, uh, glory out. But uh, it's, 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 I think it's great for the game of baseball. People love it, and, and it will always be there. Now, isn't it? Now, let's, let's extrapolate this a little bit. Wouldn't you think as a pitcher, it's easier to pitch in the NL than it is to pitch in the AL because you have not a DH, you have a pitcher in the lineup that you're facing? Oh, the pitchers are terrible hitters. You know, I mean, they, they, yeah. they, they're not even good to watch. Uh, you know, I mean, most of the uh, pitchers in the National League, you know, when we played uh, before I was a DH, uh, the pitchers used to bunt the ball a lot. But they don't, it's, it's no bunting in the game of baseball anymore. It's all home runs and strikeouts. And, you know, you get some of these guys who are uh, pitchers, they try to go up and try to hit some home runs, and, but they don't. You know, I mean, but the American Leagues, that's why it's so uh, powerful because they win in the All Star games. And they win in uh, the World Series because it's so uh, it's you know it's they got a great hitter. Now many pitchers and even here at Joe's events, John Wetland being one of them, they have been very outspoken to me anyway about that the pitchers don't condition like position players do. So for them to be hitters, it's even a disadvantage physically for them to be actual hitters, power hitters. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, nowadays, you know, when we play, you know, the pitchers have to be in. Everybody had to be in shape back then. Yeah. Uh, you have to be in great shape now, but it's, it's it's a specialized game now. It's not a game where the pitcher's going to pitch nine innings. Or, you know, nowadays it's, you know, the pitchers pitch five innings and then they have a specialty guy going in the sixth and seventh and eighth and, and of course, the closing if, if you if you win any ball games. Right. But it's always great to be part of it and, and you know, and to... Uh, you know, you got to be in shape. In, in order to play any type of sports, you got to be in shape. But it's a little bit different when we play, you know, because everybody has to be in great shape. But nowadays, these guys... These, For total uh, cologne. Yeah, <laughs> the, you know, I mean... Uh, but you, yeah. you, you look in cologne. I mean, you know, like, you, you know, I mean, he's 40-something years old. I mean, he's, he has, he's done something right, and, you know. But uh, um, you got to be in shape. Now... The game, as we alluded to, is evolving. 
and there is a chance that you know there's three options that can happen with a DH and one of them is do you adopt the DH in the NL do you switch to a pitcher batter in the AL or do you keep it the way it is what do you think well to be honest with you the Ameri uh, the National League is going to have to adopt it because there's too many American League guys uh, that uh, uh, the uh, pitchers got to uh, pitch in uh, the interleague play and they're getting injured. Mm -hmm. And, you know, unfortunately, when we played, we didn't make any money. Nowadays, instead of making hundreds of dollars like we played, these guys are making millions of dollars. Yeah. So uh, the National League is going to have to uh, adopt it eventually. Uh, I think it's going to be... Uh, 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 it's going to be in the game of baseball. The, uh, the American League would never uh, uh, take it out, and, uh, but the National League will eventually adopt it. How soon do you think, coming down the pipe? Real soon. I, I think <laughs> at the next collective bargaining within the next two or three years. And yet they have to protect their investments in pitchers, million-dollar pitchers. Uh, million dollars. Multi. Like I said before, we made hundreds. <laughs> they made millions. I'm Daniel McCartan. He's Ron Bloomberg. Thank you very much. Enjoy the game. Thank you.